Ellis Brooklyn Salt. Yeah, what? It's a body oil. Where's, where's, the, name? where's the full name? Oh, this is a different language. Let's put some on the hands. Or, ah. Oh, there's a, there's a stopper. <laughs> Whatever, okay, get her, I get it. <laughs>
oil. I have Ellis Brooklyn Salt Fragrance over there. Absolutely love it. It's a fresh solar. I had never even known what a fresh solar was until I got that in the mail and I love that scent. And this is a soothing body oil. Okay, there it is. I was looking at it and I'm like, why does this look like a water? It's, it's giving some pull. So it's indeed an oil. The bottle is nice. It's giving toner. It's giving like face toner vibes. Let's put some on the hands. One thing I like to do is put my fragrance on the back of my hands. I obviously spray the back of my hand, but this is an oil, my goodness gracious. <sighs> Not as strongly scented as the fragrance, but I can still smell the fragrance. This made my hands so shiny and this does have a light scent. I was expecting a stronger scent, but this is good. I love a good perfume oil. Content about that already out and also coming out for sure. I'm thinking of the Nest perfume oil where once it's on, it doesn't feel greasy. This feels greasy. So because I'm thinking of that, it's standing out in a way that I don't like. However, I love the scent because I love the scent over there, but I do wish that it didn't feel greasy after it was on. So the Nest perfume oil, I'll link it below, it dries and it leaves a, uh, leaves a light shine like this. And it's very, very strong, extremely strong. This one's lightly scented, still on my hands. And I'm now wiping my hands onto my intima. I have my intima on, literally wiping my hands because it left a residue. You may or may not like that. You may like this underneath a lotion, underneath a cream or on top of a cream. If you do want that residue, this I can see being good if you have dry skin. Whereas the Nest New York perfume oils, for instance, they're not going to hydrate you in that way. Not, not tremendously. So if you're dry, you put it on, you're not going to necessarily see your skin no longer dry, but you're going to have that slight shine and the perfume's going to be banging. So they're two different products. Obvi, I'm just comparing them to my, in my mind, because that's what I was thinking of when I saw this. This is considered a body oil, whereas the other one is a perfume oil. So the jury's out. Okay. The jury's out. It's just not what I thought it was going to be. So the jury's still out on that one. I hate that I feel that way because I thought I would feel differently, but that's my raw reaction. Okay, I had to re-up on Ellis Brooklyn Vanilla Milk because we love vanilla milk. Nini loves the smell of this. I told you in the video, this is so stinking good. It just smells like dessert, amazingness. Let me get a refresher. The other one is in the bathroom. It's not done yet, but I wanted to re- Ooh, yes. Huh. Mm. You're gonna feel like this smells like vanilla extract, but I like that. I don't have an issue with that. I actually love that. This is so good. Yes, yeah, so restocked on this. Ooh, this one got me excited. Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. I, shockingly, don't have a Chanel fragrance. I don't understand that. I'm getting into more and more Chanel, Avi. <laughs> we got a few over there, you know? And I've got the hand cream, a few knickknacks, but this is my first Chanel fragrance. And baby, let me just tell you, Coco Mademoiselle, I got a sample of this when I purchased a gift set. Yeah, the Chanel gift set where I got the hand cream and then the lip. I call everything a chapstick. Obviously the lip balm, but you know what I mean when I say chapstick, okay? So Chanel chapstick, whatever. Okay, ghetto. I get it. <laughs> This is my first time having a full-size Chanel par Parfum. <laughs> this is an Eau de Parfum. This is Coco Mademoiselle. My mom loves number five. I don't love it. It smells like old lady, so it's very perfect for her. I love her mom. We call her old lady, she gets it. Let's get a refresher, because I already have on Absolutely Bloomin', honey. Oh, it's making me think of a very delicious tropical margarita. What am I doing? Yes, yes, mademoiselle, what up, girl? What go on? That's the same. This is good, okay? Coco mademoiselle. We, 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 we. And then I have the touch blend hand sanitizers. I've seen the influencers using this, and I've been what? Influenced because it's slim, similar to the slim fan that is perfect for our purses. Why not have a slim hand sanitizer? Really, I wanna keep the pink one. I don't need no blue. <laughs> Aesthetics, honey, I know. If you don't like that, life, you get what I'm saying? But I like how slim it is, that's so cool. I guess I'm gonna sanitize my hands, although I put a body oil on it, so annoying. This is see-through. I can't lie, I'm that person that would be turned off because of how this looks and it being so see-through. I would be so turned off when this starts to go down, I know. I'm that person, that'll annoy me. I need this to be full at all times, but then of course I need to use it, right? It's gotta be functional. It's here for a reason. <gasps> oh, this is, has sandalwood in it. I just noticed that. I didn't know the scent. I just go out, just going by colors. 70% ethyl alcohol, praise be. I did not know that they had scents to it. I literally just thought it was colors. Okay, let's smell the blue sandalwood mixed in with salt. Brooklyn, Ellis, 
Brooklyn salt. I don't know. It, 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 it blends in so well. I don't know what's what. I gotta be honest. I don't like that Alice Brooklyn body oil. I don't like it. I'm, I'm gonna return it. There's no way. I don't I, I don't have enough space in my house to keep things that I don't love. I'm, I don't, uh, yeah. I feel like I can smell the oil. Not the scent or the fragrance that's in it. You know how oil smells? Like the smell of oil? I feel like I'm smelling that on my hands and I don't like that. Anyway, that is what I got. Short and sweet. I wanna know what you picked up or plan on picking up. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.